This is the second part of a tutorial on making a Batmobile. In this part I'll show you how to set up materials. To set up materials I'm going to use the Cycles Render. Drag to make the properties window wider and click the Materials button. I've got two default materials which I'm going to reuse. I'm going to call one Car. Click the Use Nodes button. Click the Colour. Click hex and enter a value 101010 and that gives us a very dark grey. To set up the glass go into edit mode and into face select mode and select a glass face. Hold down shift and select all the glass faces. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Hold down shift and carry on selecting glass faces. Hold down shift. Click the Add New Material Slot button, click the Browse Material button and pick up the other default material which I'm going to rename Glass. Click the Use Nodes button, click the Colour button, click Hex and enter the value 003838. Click the Assign button to assign the selected faces to the material. Change the shading to Material and go into object mode. Select the car body, click the browse material button and select the car material and there we have the basic colours. To put the Batman logo on the bonnet of the car change the view to the top view and go into edit mode. Drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window and make the new window a UV image editing window. Click the add new material slot button, click the add new material button and call the new material logo. Click the dot at the end of the color box and select image texture. Click the open button, go to the folder where you have your Batman logo, select the file and open it. Click the browse image button, select the file, zoom back with the mouse wheel. Change the shading to solid, select a face, press C for C select and select a block of faces. Press escape to get out of C select. In the mesh menu, UV unwrap, project from view bounds. We need to flip the mapping, press R to rotate, 180 and enter. Make sure the logo material is selected and assign the faces to the material. Go into object mode, change the shading to material, and there we have the logo on the bonnet. To make the wheels, in the outliner window, hide the car and the car top. Add mesh cylinder. In the object properties, set the Z scale to be 0.5. And with the cursor in the 3D view, press S to scale, 0.6 and enter. Set the Y rotation to be 90. And in the object menu, apply rotation and scale. Change the view to the right view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan shift middle mouse button. Go into edit mode. Drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar and disable proportional editing. Select the front face. Press E to extrude immediately followed by enter. Press S to scale and scale down, press 0.8 and enter. Before I set up the material, I'm going to give the wheel a meaningful name. Tire FP, named for use in the game engine. Click the material button, click the add new material button, call the new material wheel. Click the color and set the red value to 0 0.01, the green value to 0 0.01, and the blue value to 0 0.01. Click the Add New Material slot button. Click the Add New Material button. Click the dot at the end of the color box and select Image Texture. Click the Open button. Go to the folder where you have your images and select the image file and open. Click the Browse Image button and select the same image in the Image Editing window. Mesh, UV Unwrap, Project from View Bounds. Press S to scale to shrink the mapping down. Press 
G to grab Y for the Y direction and move the mapping so the logo is centered. Give the new material a meaningful name, Wheel Logo, and click Assign to assign the material to the selected face. Go into Object Mode, drag on the white diagonal lines to close the image editing window. Unhide the car and the car top. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and change the view to quad view. Change shading to wireframe. Turn the 3D manipulator widget on and use the tips of the arrows to place the wheel. Click the object properties button. Now I've experimented with placing the wheel, so I'm going to enter values 1.5 for the X location, 2.33 for the Y location, and minus 0.4 for the Z location. Change the shading back to material. Duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter, and we only have to change the Y location for the duplicate, minus 3.57 and enter. Duplicate again, Shift D and Enter, and set the X location of the duplicate to minus 1.5. Now the logo is facing the wrong way, so I'm going to press R to rotate, Z for the Z axis, 180 and Enter. Duplicate, Shift D and Enter, and change the Y location to 2.33 and Enter. Toggle Quad View. And there we have our finished Batmobile. I'll put all the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.